dead. Did you see the news? Yeah, I'm looking at it now. They ordered the evacuation. Shut everything down. Put out the second layer of sandbags, board up the rest of the windows. Your mom's packing a few things. We'll stay with Uncle Marvin. Meet you here in half an hour. I'm prepping the fish Josh caught off Cape May this weekend. It's gonna well, be a special. We're not gonna be back for at least a couple of days, so <sighs> toss it. I'm gonna stay. What? Josh spent a half an hour reeling these things in. I've been here all morning prepping it. I'll stay, watch over the place, to make sure nothing happens, you know? It'll be fun. Look, kid, they're closing the bridges down. If you don't come He's now... coming. They always say it's going to be the worst one ever. Irene was supposed to be the 100-year storm. That was last year. Nothing happened here at all. Your mother looks concerned. His mother is concerned. Please, don't worry. Either of you. I'll make sure nothing happens. Trust me. All right. You call me if anything happens, okay? Shame you're going to miss out on this sucker. Be safe. She's not good. But, you know, it, it's, it's hard to know because she's such a hypochondriac. Oh, my God. Fine, Ma, don't worry. Don't worry, you look terrible. What happened to you? I've gotten a fight. A fight? What's Jesus this? Have you seen Christ. a doctor? Are you yeah. all right? That's where I got the stitches. This is you working hard. I was working hard. I had a gig. Partying all hours say? of the night. You stop it. Fight? Dad, what? what? What is this? What's what? It's a collection note. It's not my fault if you're out there buying... For you. What was I supposed to do? Close up for six months while I wait for the insurance money? We would have been finished. The insurance came after a month. It came after six. After the recession hit, we started losing money. I thought things would turn around in a year or so, but... They didn't. And then that damn storm hit. I had to take out a loan. Put the business up for collateral. I knew you wouldn't let me, so I told you the money came from the insurance company. When the insurance check came, covered only half the cost. I didn't want either of you to know how bad it was. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna have to lay off some of the part-timers. The rest get a 10% cut. No more overtime. 10%? If we can refinance, make some sacrifices, we can get through this. I'm sorry, but the request for a loan modification has been denied. What? We can make the payments. The loan is more than 90 days past due. We have the right to collect immediately. What does that mean, collect immediately? The business was put up as collateral, so we will assume ownership and liquidate That's it. That's outrageous. It was in the contract you signed. You will make less money than if you just let us make the payments. I'm sorry, that is the bank's decision. Well, then I want to talk to a manager. He'll tell you the same thing. The decision is final. better believe the Better Business Bureau is going to hear about this and our congressman. This is unheard of behavior, and you should be ashamed of yourself. It's no wonder the small businesses in this town are packing up and leaving. I showed you the numbers. We are a viable business. This is the kind of place this community needs. I know you're scared, but this place is smaller. Business is picking back up all over town. Everything is being repaired from the storm. And what about the next storm? We don't have enough to retire. Not with what we've lost. What if we lose this house? If you would take a regular job just for a few years, we could save money, we could plan our retirement. Why risk everything? Because running a restaurant is what I do. It's what I've always done. Without that, what am I? 
You're my husband. You had that restaurant 30 years, and it was beautiful. But it's over. It is a beautiful thing seeing all of you here tonight at the opening of my son's restaurant. When my last place went under and I said I was going to open another at this time in this town, I was told, you're crazy. At first, I listened to those voices. I wasn't crazy enough to take the risk. And it is risky doing this. But if you know my son, this business is who he is. And a man who pretends to be anything other than what he is becomes a shadow. So many of you helped put this place together. Tonight only happened because you let yourselves believe in the crazy that was somebody else's. And when you find those people, that person who sees our crazy and still shows up, then you're able to be who you are. And that's the only way to be.